Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I am so excited to show you the makeup that I am wearing right now. It is all from IT Cosmetics and they sent me a care package. So nice of them. I wrote to their customer service and said, hey, I do videos and reviews and I would love to review your products. So if you'd like to send me some, please do. And they sent me the greatest little care package with um, three different products to sample, but in a couple of colors each. So let me show you what they sent. Um, the one that I'm most excited about is their CC cream. So they sent me two vials of CC cream. They also sent me this um, really interesting mascara called Tightline that has a tiny, tiny little wand and you press it so tight up to your uh, skin at your lash line that it does your tight lining while you're putting on your mascara. And anything that can save me a step I think is genius. And they also sent me three lip glosses. And these are anti-aging lip glosses, so I am way into this because, oh my gosh, the ingredients in these are unbelievable. So, let me tell you about each product individually, and then I'm going to cut to the video where I show you, as usual, me applying the product so you can see what it looks like going on and what I look like before and after. And then I'll tell you, I'll wear this all day, and I'll come back and I'll tell you how it wore at the end of the day. IT Cosmetics stands for Innovative Technology Cosmetics, and the company was started by a woman named Jamie Kern, and she develops all the, project, all the products in conjunction with plastic surgeons. So um, the next product that I looked at that they sent me was this really cool mascara that is a tight lining mascara. And let me just read you what their marketing says about this. Tight line, full lash length Primer and Peptide Enhancing Serum, 5-in-1 Primer, Volumizer, Lengthening Serum, and Stain. Uh, new Tightline Full Lash Length Black Primer with Skinny Wand primes, preps, and provides extra definition by tightlining your lash line, depositing a nice black line at the base and in between each eyelash for a beautiful eyeliner effect that doesn't take up precious eyelid space. And... Um, the instructions are pretty much what I'm going to show you in the video, so let's go to the video and I will show you how I applied it. And um, then I'll come back and tell you how I like it. It's like a standard mascara, except this isn't the cap, this is the product. And this is the wand. Look at this thing. It is tiny. So the way to apply this is that you put it super tight to the base of your lash line and then you wiggle it up so that you can get a lined, tight lined effect. So you're actually supposed to be touching the skin at the base of your lashes and then pulling it up. Okay, it's kind of hard in the outer corner. I think I'm going to have to just turn the wand. So what do you think? This eye versus this eye. It's definitely a good effect. It kind of gives that tight line effect so you don't have to do a separate step of applying an eyeliner, you know, inside and then, and then over. So I think this is a pretty cool product. It takes longer because you have to move so slow and carefully, but look at the difference. So let me do the other eye. So for me, this is idea-wise a brilliant idea and a breakthrough idea. Um, but it's not as much of a home run for me as the CC cream is. And I'll tell you why. While I think that this is a terrific idea and it actually does work, you have to snuggle it really in close and wiggle it back and forth. So it's a little more time consuming to put on the mascara, but on the other hand, you don't have to go to the other step of adding the eyeliner as well. So in one step, it's done. So if you're traveling, this is great for travel, um, you know, or if you want to keep it in your purse for going from work, you know, out clubbing or something, it's great to have then because then, bam, you can do it. Um, so it's terrific. The problem that I have with it is that because it does go on your waterline, 
and then my eyes are very watery and I'm blinking a lot while I'm applying it. A lot of the product then comes off of my waterline, although, you know, it stayed there well enough that I think you can see it looks like it's lined and everything. It's good, but enough of it comes off that then it's floating around my eyes and, you know, eventually where everything ends up in the tear troughs. And I end up with big hunks of black, you know, like mascara, um, trailers that came off of there that are now in my tear trough and eventually end up down here. Once it's set, it is quite waterproof and it doesn't go anywhere all day. And I do have a big problem with mascaras that aren't waterproof and with my leaky eyes, my watery eyes, I end up with a little blob of black down here where my mascara has run. I do not get that with this once I've applied it. Now, the other thing that I do not love 100% about this is when you go to take it off, um, it is, it's so on there and so waterproof and that it doesn't just melt away like normal mascaras do. This more comes, comes off in chunks. And so it's, it becomes, it breaks up and becomes like flaky. And so normal eye makeup remover, like I use those little pads from uh, Almay, it doesn't really get this off. So I use those and then I wash my face and then I had little black chunks of it all over my face even after I washed it. If they could somehow do it so that it was that waterproof but yet came off a little bit easier, that would be the only thing I think that could improve this product. Otherwise, I think it's terrific. And I'm glad that they're thinking of innovative um, things like this. And I don't know if, if, since it is a primer kind of thing, if I just wore it alone as a mascara, but I suppose you could put mascara on over it. All right, now to the lip glosses that they sent me. They sent me three and I have to read you the packaging. So this, these are cool. They say Vitality Lip Flush Butter Gloss with hydrating anti-aging collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid, plum oil, cherry oil, shea butter, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and antioxidants. And for me, that sounds like a great bunch of ingredients to have uh, in a lip gloss. And I've actually been on the hunt for an anti-aging hydrating treatment uh, lip gloss because as you know as, when I talk I move my <laughs> lips around a lot and I feel like I'm getting those tiny little you know they call them smokers lines I don't smoke and I don't use a straw but you know those tiny little lines I don't have a problem with bleeding up in them yet but I want something that's going to help to anti-age my lip area and this does have you know a pretty impressive ingredient lip for a lip gloss so here is what the box pack packaging looks like this color is pretty in pink and that I'm wearing now over the blue one, which is called, here we go, News Anchor Blue. Okay, I don't know why it's called that. The um, woman who started this company was a news anchor, so she must know something about why this is blue. Maybe it is an industry insider trick that they use a blue news anchor cover color. And this is a lab sample. I don't think this is available yet, but I did like this a lot as well. And then the third color they sent is, what's it called? Perfectly Nude. Yes, that is a beautiful nude color. And since I'm not wearing this one, let me just swatch it for you on my hand. So you can get a feel for what the color looks like on the skin. Okay, and if I just kind of shear it out a little bit. It is lovely. I wore this one the other day, the first day that I tried everything on, and it's a really, really nice nude color. Some of the nudes are too brown for me and too fleshy. Um, this is nice because, like I say, these are kind of sheer, so your natural lip color does show through, and I like that, so it's not like a totally nude thing. So let's see what blue lip gloss does. It definitely adds a slightly blue, as you would expect, flush that mixes, you know, visually with your lip color that gives you kind of a plummy lip flush. So this is great. It's very natural and very sheer. So I gotta say, it's not really as gluey and sticky and goopy as some of the lip glosses. It's got a nice sheen to it. It's not overly shiny, but obviously it's not matte and doesn't really taste like anything. Let's check the fragrance. 
really smell like anything. It smells slightly, ever so slightly of cotton candy. So that's the blue one. And it says that they can be layered to create different effects. So let me try this one that is called Pretty in Pink over the top of the blue, and we'll see what happens with that. Hmm. And that's a nice color, too. I'm not really a big pink lip gloss wearer, but i got to say with this, with the combination of the blue, I like a lot. And I don't feel like that this goes on your lips and is overly pink because these seem like they're fairly sheer. They're not so opaquely pigmented that you don't see some of your lip color through it. So they kind of, you know, I mean, clearly it didn't go on looking this color on my lips, which could be a disappointment for some. But for me, I don't like anything that's completely opaque because I can never get the lines right. And, um, you know, then it's worn off in five minutes. So I like something that when it wears off, you can't tell as much. Um, so we'll see how this wears. These are really quite long wearing. You know, obviously, if you're having a cup of coffee or tea or you eat lunch, it's going to come off and you're going to have to reapply. But between, um, you know, breakfast and lunch when I'm, say, making videos and talking a lot, really good wear on these. So all in all, I'd have to say that so far the IT Cosmetics I am loving. And now I'm going to have to go check out the QVC website to see what else they offer. And so thank you, IT Cosmetics, for sending me these products. I really appreciate it. I really love them. All right. So as always, thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.